the box. He's been brilliant. Brody goes to work. Man. Denied by Mobley. Brody gets it back to nine again. Especially in context of what's going on. He's three. So we won by 20. We won by 20. You shouldn't be so surprised. Mobley with the rejection. Bellis is really active, setting screens and posting up. He's really moving Evan Mobley all over the floor. I'll tell you what, bro, give Edie credit. He's doing a fantastic job as Mobley. These guys, but neither one of them was a big time scorer. Yeah, out of that out of bounds, they went to their flex action. Flex not to give it to Confidence in ASU right now. Take care of the ball and reestablish your size advantage. Get the Mobley brothers. Here's Matt Bradley. He throws it away.
transfer as well. Oh, it's a scramble there. White. Shot wouldn't go. Mobley, the rebound and the slow to flow. Yep, that little game will sell out. I feel like this would be best explained if I speak it, so here we go. Evan Mobley's current biggest weaknesses are his strength and weight. While USC didn't play a ton of low post competition, there were several moments of little resistance shown by Mobley, who has a pretty high center of gravity and is just 215 pounds. The numbers were good for his post defense this year, as opponents shot just 14 for 37 there, and I think the length and timing are somewhat of an equalizer for him. However, playing him as a true 5 out the gate against guys like MB, Jokic, Towns, Davis, Vucevic, and even guys like Valanchunas, Nurkic, and Ayton would currently be a serious task for him. I don't know if he'll have an MB or AD level transformation body wise, but I'd be shocked if he doesn't look significantly different by this time two or three years from now. Great start for him, four of six. Evan Mobley defends, swiping Adam Anderson. Seven of the 12 points for USC. Isaiah Horn is steps in top. Timmy thought about three. Evan Mobley there, and a spin to the big man. Got a couple, you know, couple feet off the lane. And it's a lot different. You can get that deep post position. He can bury the foul on the floor being against Isaiah Mobley. Here's Evan Mobley muscling up against Kelly. Uh, does a lot of really good things out there and doesn't need the ball to play. Mobley with the red And he's not done yet. Yeah, I guarantee you this when Mick Cronin puts together the scouting report for the UC. Mobley here, jump He's out. Seems like the energy's just higher and Evan Mobley's trying to make it happen again now, too. Buffalo's lead by 11. Mobley trying to answer. Score on offense. Here's Mobley going to take the jumper. Banks it in for the first play half of the game. Get a chance to see it later on in the season. It sure would love it. Yeah, my guess is we'll be seeing it. Uh... Mobley, that's a three. That's the natural progression of the season when we don't have it. He's just gonna bust out. Because the way he could pull the game. I saw that team. You're so great for McKinley. They need. Slam dunk. 
That's the prettiest picture today. Beans and just flushes it. NBA guy, maybe the three bet. Some of the things in the paint. Well, tonight they're shooting the three. Davis, they all get a piece of this one is Anthony Davis showing the footwork. Last season. Evan Mobley is the type of big man you want in the modern NBA. He excels as a defender both at the rim and in space. He's a great athlete who glides up and down the court, has potential offensively that I believe is still untapped. He's not yet a reliable shooter and he'll definitely need to add a bit of weight and definitely strength, especially in the lower body to hold up as a five man. But other than that, everything else is just nitpicking. He'll be the least entertaining or noteworthy guy in the top four, but I think he has a great chance to be the best high lottery big prospect since Carl Anthony Towns.